People, it's uh, 5.30. We're going to get started with the uh, workshop. We're just going to go right into the uh, citizen forum. Uh, Bruce. Uh, Thank you, Mayor. We do have uh, one person assigned up tonight. That's Miss Gertrude Phillips. Miss Phillips, if you'll... Uh, do I need to read this first? Well, yeah, you do, actually. Okay, let me read this first. As mayor, it's my duty to enforce order. Uh, Officer Howell and Shield are the sergeant at arms and will assist in maintaining order. By law, these wishes to speak during the citizen forum must limit their con comments to more, no more than three minutes. You will be advised when the three minutes is expired. If you continue to speak in excess of three minutes, you will be asked to stop speaking and leave the podium. If you fail to do so, you're subject to being escorted out of the building by the sergeant of arms. For the safety and security of all, no one is to approach the table where the board of members and city officials are sitting without attaining permission from me. If you attempt to do so, you'll be stopped by the sergeant of arms and will be subject to being escorted out of the building by the sergeant of arms. It is my sincere hope that Everyone participates in the proceedings tonight will conduct yourself in a polite manner and respect show to all regard to this disagreement. Thank you, Mayor. Ms. Phillips, if you'd like to speak now, you've got three minutes to say whatever you'd like. Thank you, sir. Before I left to go to Florida, I got a phone call stating that could it be possible that Mr. Ford's sewer line is hooked in on mine, the reason I'm having so much trouble. I don't know, and I know they have been out there working yesterday and today. And if y'all want to comment now or wait till after the uh, meeting, it would be all right with me. I just want some answers as to what's going on. And I thank you. Thank you, Ms. Phillips. Mayor, that's the only one that had signed up. We just go right into it. No one is on the uh, citizen forum. We just roll right into the workshop. Uh, the, uh, the prayers with Vice Mayor Green, the pledge is, allegiance is with me. Uh, everybody needs to look over the minutes for March 1st, 2016 regular meeting. Then uh, we have presentation just for Tuesday only, right, bro? No, the first one, the 9-11 uh, item, that is partially tonight and partially Tuesday. Okay, we're going into the presentation. A, the 9-11 the Never Forgotten exhibit will run on the end of it first. Yeah, go, go to the podium. Mayor Alderman. I'm pretty excited about this uh, presentation that the Siller Foundation is awarding the Laverne Fire Department and its members and staff. It's a presentation, to, it's for the whole city. Um, the Siller Foundation is uh, a gentleman that was uh, dispatched to the towers as they were falling. He was a New York firefighter and uh, he was getting off of work as he was leaving his shift, of course, the planes hit the buildings. They came, his crew was dispatched. He went back to his fire station. His crew was already gone. So he gets in his pickup truck and he takes off towards the towers. When he gets to the tunnel, the traffic and everything was so backed up and everything was shut down. He dons on all his gear and um, the firefighting gear, SCBA, the whole nine yards and he walks and runs through the tunnel all the way to the towers. Now, mind you, this gentleman was um, off of work. He wasn't called in. He wasn't dispatched. He volunteered his efforts to go help his brothers in need. He ran into a building. Two minutes later, the building was on the ground. So the story that they will tell you um, Tuesday night meeting will be represents from the New York Fire Departments. Battalion chiefs, 30 and 40 year veterans will be in their dress blues. We have county firefighters that will be here. We have some metro firefighters that will be here. 
it is a huge honor for our city. And it's overwhelming, really, to even discuss it. I really want to thank the mayor and the aldermen for allowing us to do this presentation. And um, the fire department really, I, I promise you, when, when you guys see these guys and you hear the story, um, this is also, they have the exhibit, it's a 53-foot trailer that they're wanting to bring down for Old Timers Day. And it's a 911 memorial. They had it at the state fairgrounds last year, and they'll set it up here. We've met with some of the people with the county school board, so it will be in Laverne. Laverne will host this for the weekend of Old Timers Day, and then the Monday and Tuesday following Old Timers Day, Laverne City Schools, the county schools will bring their children through it. You know, hundreds of children will get to come through this exhibit at no charge. So if you've never seen it, or if you're not in the, the field that relates to this, I highly recommend it. And um, Tuesday night, I think everybody will um, look at this whole situation in a different atmosphere. It's a 15 year anniversary. That's why they're doing this. So, and for Laverne to be put on the map with this group is um, extraordinary. And that's all I have. Thank you. That's the only presentation, Bruce. For tonight, yes, sir. Okay, we're running the consent agenda. Uh, A, approved bids and purchases. Number one, bid Hurricane Creek, Greenway Phase 2. Uh, Mayor, we have opened up bids to begin on this uh, Greenway. Remember last time we opened up this kind of way over the budget. So uh, we took a, the restroom facility out and uh, Sandy sparked the trail to asphalt and did a few other changes. Pretty much took everything out we could to, to get this in line with the budget. Now, it's still over budget a little bit, and I think Phyllis, yeah, she's in here if, she, if you got some questions about the budget. But uh, Jarrett Builders was a low bidder at 1.623. It's, it's like I said, it's I think about $58,000 over the estimate, and that's I think it's about 70000 roughly over what we basically got with the grant money and stuff. So the extra seventy will be. 100% of the cities, and Phyllis can discuss uh, where over the next year that'll come from, but that's something we'll probably talk about in the budget also. But this is pretty much as cheap as we can, or lowest cost we're probably going to get this trail uh, bid at and, and to be able to build it. So it's kind of, this is what it's going to be if we, if you want to move forward with the trail, and, and the city's already expended uh, several thousands of dollars uh, doing the engineering, the design work. <coughs> bidding this out and and and, and also um, you know it's kind of if the board wants to move forward with the project uh, Jarrett Builders is a low bidder. Phyllis you got anything you want to add to it? Nothing other than when we start looking at budgets this year we will look at allocating some funds toward the overages. Calvin it's been been on, on the board what, since 1999? 99, I believe, is some of the earliest paperwork, paperwork I've seen, and I believe that's the first <coughs> original contract. So that's part of the reason why it's probably going over is, is because you're looking at calls from 99, and here we are, 2016, bidding this out. So it's if we wait any later, and, and plus, even on this, we, we've got to have construction complete by July of 2017, or we'll lose the funding. So. And that's not good for any future projects that we have with TDOT or, or, you know, when we go to ask for grant money, the first question they're going to ask is, why did you not use this grant money? And, and you, you know, why would we give you more grant money when you didn't use this and things like that? So it's probably wouldn't be good to, to, to not complete the project. Uh, that Greenway money, uh, is are we going to get it uh, because of the money that the state might hold on Walden Road? As far as we know, we will. We've, we've not uh, discussed that with the state yet. We're still trying to work through the, the payment plan and everything with the state. So it should be a separate issue. So it shouldn't be an issue. There. Any further questions on Hurricane Creek Greenway? Number two, bid valve maintenance trailer. This is a valve maintenance trailer that is was put in the budget 
the beginning of the year for the water department. It is under it's under their budget. Um, and we just like to rec for it to be awarded at this time. <coughs> but it's already in the budget. Yes, sir. It was in the budget that was approved. Um, it's at sixty four thousand nine sixty eight, and I think they budgeted closer to seventy for it in the water department. And it was under the budget that was approved this last year, not the one we're going into. Any questions on the on the trial? Number three, bid pest control service. Okay. <coughs> it was time to rebid the pest control services, and um, AC and David and I had a conversation about it. I would like to. We would like to go with Gregory's pest control because they're wanting to use a form of treating the outside of the buildings to keep bugs and stuff from coming in. They're willing to spray like everybody else does, but this is a solution where that they go around and check the buildings and find out where the rodents or bugs and all are coming in and try to treat from the outside so that you're not, some people do complain about this odor when you're spraying for bugs inside. I thought this was a good opportunity to, to try, you know, a different approach for it. That is why it's just a slight bit higher than the other. <coughs> How much more higher is it? Less than two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. How many turned in a bid was just two? Three. Three. We had three bids. <coughs> I'm actually trying to get two to three bids on everything and if i don't i try to go back and rebid it because uh, there's got to be companies out there that do a lot of the work that we need anybody got any questions for select pest control service yeah i got a question uh i got <coughs> two questions number one does does that bid fluctuate I no mean, are they going to do this year round this is the yearly bid for a that's yearly the, bid that's the yearly price for all the buildings. Okay. And uh, I think that first year that they started the uh, farmer's market, there, were, there was a problem with ants. Are they going to, because it's not close to a building, are they going to be able to go over there in the area that we put? They told me they were going to go outside in the grassy area, and that's where they would start looking for the problems. And that's why they said as far as, far as ants was one of the, specific things they mentioned to me mm -hmm. was ants and they said you have to find the ant hills and kill those you have to you have to <coughs> treat the grass around the building okay i mean but are they aware that this is this is a temporary site we only have them set up and they were taken over by ants they've been shown i mean that they they've been given the opportunity to come to the buildings and look at all the buildings that we have this is supposed to cover Actually, every building we own. Thank you. Any further questions? Moving on to B. Appro approve Pepsi contract for concession stand at Parks. AC, is that yours? Well, I can speak to it a little bit. AC can speak to it some. This is something we've been working on for a while to try to get the details worked out. Uh, Evan had, had marked up some language in it. And it took Pepsi a long time to finally come back with an acceptable contract. Uh, they have since made all the changes that Evan had requested, so uh, from a legal standpoint, everything should be okay. Uh, this is basically uh, the concessions contract to provide uh, various Pepsi products uh, for the concession stands, uh, and in return, I think we get $1,500 up front. Correct. Uh, and then I think we get a, a percentage uh, based on the amount of sales on top. And even though they've had a hard time getting this contract together and getting it back to us, I don't know whether they had some administrative changes up the ladder or what, but they've still held up their end of the bargain and they still come out and they still service everything just like they, you know, just like it's a really good contract. And so they've been really good to work with so far other than them getting the contract back to us has been the only issues we've had with them at all. So if they finally got it back, I'm, I'm happy about that. So. 
Anybody have any more questions on the Pepsi contract? C, approve am amendment two to a agreement for engineering service for CTI. Mr. CTI, are you ready? Yes, sir, good afternoon. This is a, a second amendment to our agreement for the Lower East Hurricane Creek Interceptor Sewer. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers response to our permit application was that we needed to do a habitat assessment survey for the Indiana bat, the northern long-eared bat, and bronze rock crest. CTI does not normally engage in these services, however, Steve Maloney with Griggs and Maloney does, and he has given us a range of pricing for those habitat surveys depending on what's found and what has to be done. Also, there's some numbers in here for potential surveys, uh, ground surveys, and then also some numbers in here for work that we would do. Uh, approaching one of these habitat assessments is really an unknown entity, but we have uh, we've created this amendment to our agreement for twenty thousand dollars that would allow us to proceed uh, and give us that amount of money to work under if it were to be far more involved and cost more we'd of course come back to you all for further funds. Hopefully this will be sufficient. Any questions for the uh, engineering service for CTI? Yes, sir. The, can you can you clarify that a little bit more? I mean, I, uh, again, this is new for me too. Are you saying for them to come in and see that it is a protected habitat uh, for their people would come? It, it would be twenty thousand. I mean, you're asking for a budget of 20,000. I'm asking for a budget for 20,000 based on the range of pricing that Steve Maloney has given me for uh, 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 different consequences that could happen depending on whether he finds nothing, he finds something, whether there has to be mitigation, mediation done for uh, the habitat. These bat species are endangered species that the Corps of Engineers has put, uh, or the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Serv Service actually, has put on everyone's watch list so that any core permit that's done, they typically come back with a request to look for these particular habitats. <coughs> uh, the habitat for these bats in the summertime is evidently shaggy bark trees. And so Steve has done his survey work for the assessment and I'm waiting on his report. And Tennessee Wildlife, they can't assist no. in this? No, it'll, it'll completely be done by consultants and then provided to the Corps of Engineers. Thank you. Any further questions? Thank you. Thank you. Moving on, the approved contract with Phil Pro shows for the Independent Day fireworks show. I guess that's the uh, 4th of July fireworks. Was that the same one that done it last year? Done it old-timers day? Mm -hmm. uh, no, the uh, fireworks show is what they say. We use the same company for the last few years for the fireworks, and they've done a real good job. And their so that's the one that the same way they always use them. Yeah, yeah, they do a great job. Price staying the same. Thirteen thousand dollars this yeah. time. Okay. Any further questions on the fireworks? E is approved user agreement with the Youth Incorporated for inline hockey league. And that's standard. That one stays has stayed the same. It's uh, they are very self sufficient down there. We have to do very little down there, and and uh, they're really good about helps us maintain and keep the grounds clean and uh, it's a really good program for the kids year round so um, there nothing's changed on that really it's the same. Any question on the <coughs> hockey list? Approve elf approve audit contract from yearly Howell and Associates for physical year 2015 2016. Mayor, this is the annual audit contract that we do for Yuri and Howe to come in and, and do our, our state audit, our regular audit. 
Uh, the cost this year is uh, $33,800, which is up a little bit. Uh, but this is the standard contract that we do every year. Any questions on the contract? We're down to number G, authorize the fire department to submit an application for the Firehouse Sub Public Safety Foundation grant. Rick, is that 100%? Yes, sir. Mr. Clark. Ice bands up. <laughs> he wants to talk tonight. He said I can talk. I haven't been able to talk for a while. No, it's a 100% <laughs> grant um, if awarded by Firehouse Subs. Um, they have a program for public safety, uh, protection of our personnel. As we know, society has changed. And many times, um, firemen are injured uh, during an active shooter or those kind of things. Another thing is, is if you could visualize this being more of a rescue vest, for their protection as they would wear fire gear for fire. Um, we're taking an aggressive approach in the event of an active shooter to get our personnel inside to treat patients immediately and it will provide them protection. I wouldn't want to send my personnel in there without it. Um, so this is 100% grant. We've looked all around. Um, uh, <coughs> that Homeland Security has looked at this and we're requesting your approval to move forward with our grant process. Any questions for Chris on the on the uh, the vest? Thank you Chris. On the consent agenda any items that any of the board members has has any issues you can contact Bruce and we can always remove it on a single item deal. Moving down to new business number five motion to approve or remove board members uh, committee A Laverne Housing Authority one term is vacant we got one applicant and that's uh, uh, Patricia Williams McLean uh, B Planning Commission one term is vacant we got two uh, uh, applicants that's uh, Terry Campbell and uh, Susan Emu uh, C Bowen, B Board of Zoning Appeals one term vacant. I think we got multiple. We got Christopher Mitchell, Debbie Hugan, and for particular William McLean. Look them over. Be able to uh, pick one of them Tuesday. Uh, I'll be the one to pick it on the on the planning commission as usual. Moving on number six, first reading ordinance 2016-02, an, or, an ordinance to amend the city of Laverne zoning ordinance by changing the official zoning map 29B group A parcel 1.03 consisting of 0.45 acres located at 608 Walden Road from a R2 minimum distance residential zoning district to a C2 Highway Service District. Zone District received a favor recommendation from the Planning Commission on March 29, 2016. This is the car wash on Walden Road right across from Fire Department number two, I think. Uh, Kristen, you wanna take this one? Uh, as you mentioned, this did receive a favorable vote from the Planning Commission on Tuesday. It was 100% uh, favorable. Uh, the applicant is Mr. Stephen Godby, who is present tonight, and he is the owner of the Colonial Car Wash at 608 Waldron. Uh, the, the property has been in, this, in the present condition of, of a car wash since, since 1989 when the structure was built. Mr. Godby acquired it in 2010. Uh, he found out that the zoning is actually R2 medium density. It's always been that way. And he j simply just wants to make the administrative change to have it rezoned to C2 to reflect what it, the, the commercial use of the property. So the setbacks are the same for both zoning districts. There will be no changes, no visible changes to the site should the, the rezoning move forward and be approved. Uh, the surrounding zoning is entirely commercial and industrial to the north and entirely uh, residential to the south. This is the last 
commercially used parcel on Waldron. It's just just south of the um, freeway stop. The I was going to say yeah, the New Paul Plaza uh, strip mall. So, and there's been a sign on the property for over a month. I've actually received no phone calls. And Mr. Godby has, has provided the city with all of the required information for this request. Was uh, was any description put on there like right away ded dedication or sidewalks or not for the not for the rezoning now. <laughs> But now, car wash, it, it was supposed to be uh, highway service to start with, right? I mean, it, it should have been, yes. Yeah. But, um, it's not allowed in residential to start with. No. It was, it was an oversight or, or something. It's hard to say, but yeah, it was built in 1989, and um, it's operated the same way for decades, so Mr. Godby just wants it to be free zone commercial. Ruth, do we need to uh, ask for a right away donation? I know so, sometimes we ask for it, and most time we do. I don't think we can for a rezoning request. Now, if he was coming in for a site plan or making some sort of change to his property, the planning commission could at that time. But he's not making any changes to his site, so I don't know that there's really okay. any leverage for us to do anything like that le legally. Okay. Any further questions? On number five, no, it's number six, I'm sorry, on the uh, re re rezoning. Moving on number seven, this is a resolution, 2016-05, a resolution to approve the land acquisition policy for the lower East Hurricane Creek interception sewer line project. Mayor, last month this board uh, approved a proposal from Croft and Associates to uh, obtain the easements needed for this project. Uh, this is a policy that I've been talking with Evan about uh, as far as how things are going to, to be done in acquiring these uh, easements. Uh, I'll be talking with Evan some more. He's out of town on vacation at the moment. So uh, this may or may not be on the agenda for Tuesday night. Uh, but in the past, we have had a separate policy for individual projects like Waldron Road and things like that. We do have a generic policy that is citywide, uh, but in the past we have wanted to have a specific policy for specific projects. So that's, that's why this is on the agenda now. But I will be talking to Evan Moore, and, and like I said, this may or may not be on the agenda Tuesday night, depending on what he says. Any question on number seven, the resolution? Number eight, resolution 2016-6, a resolution of the City of Laverne Board of Mayor and Alderman <coughs> to declare a certain property owned by the city to be surplus to the city needs and direct disposal of the same. Uh, is these cars or equipment? Mayor, all of the items on the resolution this time are from the library. Uh, they're going through all of their books and, and uh, magazines and everything and, and uh, kind of weeding out the things that aren't needed anymore so that's that's everything that's on this resolution any question on number eight resolution for the library surplus we're down to number nine that's FYI budget workshop uh, April 7th 2016 that's on a Thursday April 14th 2016 that's again on the on the following Thursday then April 19th, 2016, at 5.30, that's on a Tuesday. Uh, I guess everybody need to look over and see if they have, have any problems with it. And if they do, get with you about it. Yeah, because we'll, uh, we'll have to advertise these. So. Okay. Get them before you leave. Anybody have anything about the budget workshop? Um, Bruce, I know for I'll be out of town on the 14th, so I'm leaving on the 8th and coming back the following Saturday. Are there any other conflicts with any of those dates as far as you know? Not with me. I'm good with all of them. 
Uh, I'll take a look and see if there's anything we can do. I'm not sure at this point. Um, there's not many available Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, with other meetings going right. on. So. I understand. I'm sorry, what was your date? On the, that you cannot? The 14th, I will not. Okay. Thank you. Be able to attend. I'll check and see. Okay, that's all we got scheduled. Anybody need to discuss anything that we've already talked about? If not, we're going to move on down to Mayor and Alderman comments. Alderman Broker. Yes, sir. I just want to say thank you to uh, a lot of people in the community. Last Saturday night, we had our spaghetti fundraiser dinner for Ms. Phillips. Um, part of the community came together. Um, everyone from the rescue squad to box 100 to <coughs> some of the city employees to Taylor Farms to uh, Jason Cole, Matt Church, LFD. Um, it was, Ms. Phillips, I hope that you felt the community's love there and there wasn't everything, but we starting to get something rolling for you. So we just, I want to say thank you to everybody and uh, He's already got the plywood down, and there's some coming out Saturday to help finish up some work in his bedroom and his bathroom, and possibly uh, with what I've already spent of the money from the fundraising, it is over a thousand something. I don't remember offhand. But I've got all of my receipts and everything. Uh, even if I don't get any of it done on the other part right now, I will get a lot of it ready. So when I get some more money, then there's an awful lot of names: um, Linda Steed, Lila Parker, Debbie Hewen, uh, Jay Humphreys. Um, I could go down. I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch of them. Um, Mayor, thank you for coming out. Uh, but anyway, I think, I think it was great for the community to come together for this cause. So thank you. Alderman Jones. Uh, I'd just like to say I'd like to give my personal appreciation for Chief Clark. Uh, even though it, it, it wasn't a pomp and circumstance, uh, you were seen when you helped individuals get that couch out of Waldron Road. <laughs> the other day, and I'm glad you were right there to put your lights on because it was a lot of traffic behind me coming at a pretty good speed. So you, you were recognized. Thank you. We might change you from bikes van to couch van. <laughs> <laughs> Alderman Brown. I don't have any comments. Bikes van Green. No. Appreciate everybody coming out tonight. I want to get this thing over pretty quick because the storm's coming in, hopefully with a message. But make everybody aware, April is Aut Aut Autism Awareness Month and National Health Awareness Month. And I want to thank everyone for coming out to the Celebrate Laverne History event on March 12th. Uh, a lot of people uh, made a lot of good hard work involved in that. And, uh, the, the gentlemen that come from Sparner with all the articles and uh, artifacts was was a was good too, and just have a have a safe weekend and uh, hope the storm misses and if it's no further items or comments I'll call this workshop adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>